We are learning more about the arrest of a man in a murder case from more than 10 years ago. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maggie Weaver. And I'm Josh Rowe. We told you last week authorities took Jose Hernandez into custody in Mexico. They then transported him to Hamilton County where he is expected to stand trial. An affidavit we obtained says that Hernandez beat Jamie Baquero to death. It goes on to say that her husband had to identify her by her tattoos on her body. An autopsy report says Baquero suffered nearly two dozen blows to her head and body. Investigators say they have the evidence to tie Hernandez to the murder weapon and the scene as well. I spoke with people who live near the home where Baquero died to hear their reaction to the suspect's arrest. It's, it's a good news, you know, after 13 years and 15 days, we can hear something, something that give us hope. Lily Gomez says she was friends with Jamie Baquero for about eight years. He was from Colombia. I'm from Colombia. Police say Baquero's badly beaten body was found inside a closet of a rental home on Shady Oaks Drive in Ottawa back in 2011. Sean Lee says she remembers the crime happening in her neighborhood. But it was a little freaky at the time. You felt uncomfortable. An autopsy report shows she suffered 22 blows to her body and head. The report also says she was beaten so badly, Baquero's husband was only able to identify her from her tattoos. We didn't know until the next day when um, he was he w came home and found it. David Carr has lived on Shady Oaks Drive for 32 years. He says the man who owned the house. But he rented a room out to this guy and the guy took her there and beat her up. The arrest affidavit says Jose Hernandez and the victim had a prior domestic relationship in the past. What I understand, he wanted to date her, but she kept putting him off. Five years ago, a Hamilton County grand jury indicted Hernandez for Jamie's death. Mexican authorities took him into custody on Friday near the U.S. border. Because she was beautiful. It's more than that. It's when you met somebody that have a good energy. Hernandez has already been extradited to Hamilton County. That is that we are waiting justice for, for Jamie. Hernandez's bond is set for $200,000. Authority told us at the time of the murder that the suspect was in the U.S. illegally. A former Thanks for making News Channel 9 your trusted source for local news. For updates and the latest on breaking news, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.